welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Power Virtual Agent fallback topics. Let's go. So let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. So the default behavior of Power Virtual Agents is when it doesn't understand a, a user utterance or a statement, it'll go ahead and reprompt and it'll eventually escalate to a human. Now this is great if you do have an, a live agent system like Dynamics Omnichannel that you can naturally go ahead and escalate to a human in order to better service that person that's using your bot, whether that's a customer or an employee. But what if you don't have a live agent solution? What should you then do? And so one option is to use fallbacks, which is what we're going to talk about today. There's something called a fallback topic that we can go ahead and configure and detect when we have a request that hasn't been serviced by a topic itself. And so this allows us to essentially send that information off to someone using Power Automate and all of the various connectors that we have access to so that we can get a signal about what people are requesting inside of our chatbot. Because the one thing that's really important to understand about chatbot projects is they're not your typical IT project. A chatbot needs to iterate. You need to learn from your users, from your customers, and understand how they want to communicate with you and you adapt to them, not the other way around. And so we can use the fallback topics in order to generate these signals. And in this case, we're gonna send them over to Microsoft Teams and publish them inside of a channel, inside of a team that would allow, say, a customer support organization to then go back, update the bot so that when those types of statements are made, they are serviced by a topic itself. Before we dive deeper into the content, I wanted to let you know about an emerging community found at serverlessnotes.com. This is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts from around the globe. On serverlessnotes.com, you'll find content related to Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Service Bus, Azure Functions, and much, much more. Serverlessnotes.com is brought to you by Serverless 360, a portal that is focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure serverless resources. Now this is a complementary tool to the Azure portal and it helps organizations in supporting Azure serverless applications. You can find out more about Serverless 360 at serverless360.com. Okay, so how do I go about creating a fallback topic? Because it's not something that is there out of the box per se. It is, but it isn't. <laughs> so it's not something you're going to see when you first create a chatbot, but you can easily add it to your chatbot. And so what you do is you have one fallback topic per chatbot. And how you go about adding it is you head over in the upper right hand corner of the Power Virtual Agents Maker Portal, click on the gear, and then go ahead and click on System Fallback. Once you click on that link, you're going to get transitioned over to this experience you will then go ahead and click the add button. And when you go ahead and do so, you're now going to see a topic that shows up with the rest of your topics. It's technically a system topic that you can go ahead and you can now modify and we'll get more into that in the demo itself. Now, this is the default behavior. So this is when you have a chat bot where you don't have a fallback topic enabled and you make a statement in this case, such as Xbox, which isn't going to be serviced by any of your topics. What ends up happening is you get these prompts that say, sorry, I cannot find a related topic. Can you please rephrase and try again? And so you can go ahead and this will happen two times. And then what will happen is you'll get transitioned over to a live agent, assuming you have one enabled as part of your Escalate topic. Now, in my demo, I don't have a live agent system and that's why I'm going to rely upon fallbacks itself. So let's go ahead, let's see this in a demo. Okay, we're now in Power Virtual Agents. I've already gone ahead and set up my system fallback topic. So that is already something that has been added and I've gone ahead and configured it. When I go and look at my topics, we will see that I do have fallback listed as here. It's naturally always on and I will show you why. So we do not have the ability to modify trigger phrases for this topic because it's always going to be listening when you have a situation where a topic is not going to service your request. And so what is happening here is when this topic is actually initiated or kicked off, 
there is a variable. This variable is very important for us. This is provided by Power Virtual Agents. It's not something we can change or had to create ourselves, but this is going to capture that unrecognized trigger phrase that we're interested in. In this case, what I showed you in the previous slide was Xbox, the term Xbox. So whatever term is being used when this fallback gets triggered is, is going to be captured here. Now we can go ahead and use this, this variable and pass it to a downstream process. In this case, we're gonna pass it off to a flow, which will go ahead and communicate with Microsoft Teams. Once we get a response back from Microsoft Teams, we're just going to provide some message indicating that your, your, your request has been logged and we'll be updating the chat bot accordingly. Now, this is totally up to you in terms of how you want to deal with this. Perhaps when you have customers, uh, that might be different than employees, but you could also do something here simple like, you know, capturing their email address or phone number or something to that effect as a follow-up as well. You can now use this as, sorry, hey, we're unable to, to service you immediately, but give us some more information and we'll reach out and we'll make this right. Now, in terms of what's going on in Power Automate, let's just click on this flow. It's gonna be quite simple. We have the Power Virtual Agents trigger. We really have one input. This is going to be that topic content. And as you recall, this is where we're gonna pass in the unrecognized trigger phrase itself. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we want to at mention someone in Teams. So there's likely someone who's, this is their core responsibility of updating the bot. So we're going to make sure they see this message. So we'll go ahead and use the get at mention token for a user so we can get their token. And then what we'll do as part of the flow bot, which will communicate with this specific team and this specific channel, we will call them out just to make sure they see this. And then we're going to indicate that we've got an unanswered question from the chat bot. Please go ahead and take a look. On top of that, we'll have to return context back to our chat bot. Now, in this case, it uh, we're not returning any sort of values here either, but the uh, system itself will be signaled indicating that it's now complete. So let's head back over to Power Virtual Agents. Let's see how this would work. So in this case, I can go ahead and say hi if I want to, just to go ahead and kick off the conversation. Now this is gonna go ahead and kick off our greeting topic. Now what I'm gonna do is type in Xbox. And once again, my solution here isn't gonna know how to handle the term Xbox. But what's now happened, right? I as a chatbot user have been informed of this and I've been let known that the chatbot will be updated accordingly in order to address this. Now, we saw a push notification show up on my screen. Now, that's happening over in Teams here, right? So me as the logged in user, I'm going to receive a signal that we've got an unanswered question from the chatbot. Please take a look and the value is Xbox as we typed in. If I head over to the team itself, and then I head over to the channel, the general channel in this case, we see that it's also logged there. So in this case, any of my team members would also be able to see this request as well. And so the goal now would be for me to go back into the chat bot and create a user topic that captures information related to Xboxes because the next time someone comes and wants to chat with my, ex my chat bot, I wanna make sure I've got the content that they're looking for. And that's the whole purpose of this demo is to highlight these opportunities so that you can quickly close that loop and avoid future occurrences when someone might be approaching your chatbot looking for information and are unable to find any of that itself. So that concludes the, the demo for today. I hope you found it useful. Uh, you definitely should be including fallback topic strategies in your chatbot. So I'd encourage you to go ahead and uh, take a closer look at this feature and go ahead and implement it. All right, so that concludes another episode here on the channel. Thanks for all of your support. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can go ahead and find me at Weirzy. In addition, uh, obviously you're watching this on YouTube, so thank you for that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do post weekly on Power Platform content. Likes and comments are always appreciated as well. Thanks and take care.